am your new celebrity. I am your new America. I am the piece of filthy meat that you take home and treat to yourself. While I work it, cross your face Ain't no disgrace, this is the place To slip your dirty junk inside me I'm your celebrity I'm what you want to be Come take a piece of me And burn it in your back room Piggy, piggy, pork chop Don't stop, slap up that slap my name is Paul Swallow and I live here in Austin, Texas and I've been here for 10 years and I'm a performer, uh, theater based uh, so I dabble in music and uh, painting and theater and film and a lot of things. Well, the, the first time I performed Christine, I didn't know what the hell it was. So I was experimenting with it and so it was really satisfying. It was kind of the first time where I could see people not knowing who I was and reacting in a kind of way of like, what the hell is this? Enjoying it or whatever. Um, so it was kind of like a, yeah, it was a really nice kind of moment where you, yeah, you kind of got the crowd and they didn't get you. It just kept expanding naturally and I trust that kind of growth. Uh, from your gut and from your environment and I just kind of kept following it and ended up with what I'm doing today. I love the family of drag, you know, um, and there's so many different layers to it and different ways of approaching it and, and presenting it. What drag means to me personally and what these characters can be based off of my own personal growth. And for me, a lot of the stuff I talk about is Christine. And I, it's, a, it's a very beautiful feeling to me. I feel very beautiful doing it. Uh, I don't feel like the way it looks. Well, I think it looks beautiful. So um, when, I'm, when I'm performing a character, I always have a goal of um, keeping the ship afloat. Uh, I like that. Like that's... For me, that's like my favorite thing is when you're on stage and you're kind of steering a room of a lot of people in a way that they are your responsibility or I take that feeling on. Uh, so I really enjoy when the boat gets a hole in it and water starts coming in or the fucking mast gets blown over or pirates jump on board. Like, I like that insanity and I like so much like having to feel and read the crowd and understand where you're taking them and keeping that boat floating. And if it does sink, what the hell do you do down there? When you're up there, you are vulnerable and, and our culture is so quick to now just say that's wrong or I don't agree with that or I don't feel safe, so shut it down. Uh, fuck that. So the ones that are going to really take us where we need to be are the ones who are going to say fuck that to the people shutting it down. You know, you'll, you'll find the folks who are going to listen and be patient and let you, let you speak. Um, even if they don't agree with it, leave the room. Um, so yeah, those people and... Um, getting underneath the radar of it all, finding your language with each other again. Um, but yeah, reclaiming our spaces and our languages and our, uh, our traditions and rituals that we've kind of lost along the way. I think that would be my message. And, some strange clown fog that I cast upon you. <laughs>